Nikki versus the world. It ain't, man. Y'all leave Nikki alone, man. Nikki versus the fucking world, man. She spazzed on Joe twice. This cut his mic off. He definitely cut the nigga mic off. She yeah. did she spaz on Joe or did she just pull a Joe on Joe? Cause Joe does the same shit that Nikki yeah. did like to everybody else. Yeah. Joe would definitely over talk the shit out of somebody. And I you know what I'm saying? They said she was tripping, she was bugging. She just sounded like a regular a regular New York chick talking to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it didn't sound Nikki. like she was spazzing or she was just she was she was mad, but I'm not I can't say that she didn't have a right to be mad. She called the nigga on some shit she thought was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, if a, if a motherfucker call you and say you on drugs, right? I mean, putting it out to the world and say, yo, Kyle is on drugs. It's wild. Like, it's a wild you're not going to be mad? Yeah. Even, I, even if it is true? Yeah, bitch, you don't <laughs> my fucking goodness. <laughs> like, let me pop these Percocets in peace, man. Yeah, like, even if it is true, like, bitch, I got to... I got a whole persona to, to, to keep up. I got so, this, this, you know what I'm saying? But, so, all right, so let's be real, right? I watched the Free Meek documentary. Yeah. And Meek, you know, said he went through his little addiction stage. Yeah. First of all, the amount of drugs this nigga was popping was wild. He said he was doing yeah. like 10 like perks 10 30, a day. 10 per 30s a day. Every day. That's wild. I don't know how this nigga's still alive. Yeah, that's but. wild. <laughs> and you mean to tell me you popping 10 perk 30s a day and your girl not taking none of them? This nigga's really like, he's still amongst the living? Yeah. He, he, he's super tough for that shit. Yeah. He, um, you know your girl getting high with you. Yeah. It might have been a Bobby Whitney situation. I'm sure. Would she? No, I don't, I don't think she introduced him to it. I no. Ain't, I ain't going to put that in the air. No. But no, I mean, like, but Nikki says in in her music that she pops pills. Yeah. She has a song called Pills and Potions. What, are, what good artist isn't on drugs? I don't want to hear artists unless they're on drugs. Like I don't do drugs. I said, what good? <laughs> no, I'm what good artist? Hey, don't worry about it. This, this record coming next week. <laughs> nah, nah. We opening the show now, but yeah. Now, nah, I mean, I got bars, B. I would have said Chance the Rapper, but you said what good artist? Yeah. So, I don't. So, nah, man. Like Mary J. Blige. I, I don't want to hear Mary J. Blige when she's sober. I mean, nah. she's still great, but I need Mary J. Blige on cocaine, like, fresh out of a relationship, heartbroken. Yeah. Nigga, even Michael Jackson was on drugs. Yeah. And this nigga's the GOAT. So. Prince. Can't, All yeah. them niggas I like Prince was doing yeah. cocaine, and it's okay. Like, so, I don't judge nobody for being on drugs. It's just when that shit starts to make you look crazy and you do crazy shit. But she, the reason she spazzed on Joe, you know what I'm saying? Essentially, she felt like Joe called her a liar twice. Yeah. Like, he gave his opinion on something. No. She came out and said what the facts were to her. Yeah. Know? And then he still was like, yeah, fuck that. That's not true. Now, one thing I do, uh, one thing I did laugh at, though, is she was like, um, she was like, yo, you said such and such. That nigga Joe was like, yo, I never said I that. I never said that. She played the clip. Just, hold on. <laughs> no, play a song. Play a fucking song. She played that shit word, word for word. word. It was what they said. <laughs> Joy say like that's what I'm saying. She yeah. wasn't wrong. Yeah. She no, came with facts. facts, like. And then she was I watched the the second interview when she went on the Joe Button podcast. I caught some of that. And she was just pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Again, said the same thing. I feel like you called me a liar. And at some point, I feel like I have to defend myself. Like you don't take that shit that seriously because you just making a statement. She's like, but that shit is directed toward me, so I, I have a right to feel some type of way, and yeah. I have a right to defend myself. No, and then you got to think, this nigga Joe is so used to just... Saying shit. And being, like, in a negative light that he don't know how to... <laughs> okay, he really don't give a fuck. It don't... So, and even, um, because I was, you know, we were, you know, watching a little bit of his podcast, yeah. and he was trying to tell her, like, I know, I mean, I don't give a fuck, but... And he's yeah. asking her, and she's like, "But nigga, I do." Yeah, <laughs> that's what you trying to tell. Like, I don't give a fuck. You shouldn't give a fuck either. Like, no, <laughs> oh, nigga. Like, that's not how this shit work. I'm saying you shouldn't care what people think, like, because he almost said that you shouldn't care what people think because you're a celebrity. Like, that's stupid. And she was like, yeah. "Nigga, I'm still a person at the end of the day." Yeah, and she, a woman. And, and she even said some shit like that. She yeah. was like, "You know what I'm saying?" When I when I told when I called you on your bullshit and I played the shit back. You couldn't even tell me, like, you yeah. know what? I did say that shit, my fault. Or this is what I meant at the time. Like, I said it, but this is... She was like, and as a woman, I need that. Yeah. She was like, you know women need that. Which was... I thought that was a real-ass statement. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. But I don't... Man... 
How you feel? Because I, I want to stay on Nikki. I'm, I'm, I want to get this. I would stuff. love to stay on Nikki. That shit. Stay in Nikki. I'd yeah. sleep in that shit. Anyway, I would definitely leave it in. There is no pulling out of that. I'm sorry, Nikki got a husband, and apparently so, her husband like to threaten people, and I ain't for the shit. We are slowly building a list of people who are never coming on this show. I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come, don't fucking go. But no, um, so the reason why I said Nikki versus the world, because she, um, obviously, she has a few, I won't call them beefs. I would say maybe only one of them is a beef because only one shit actually almost got physical. But she, like, you heard the shit she said about Ross. No, what she said about she Ross? She told him to sit his fat ass down. I, I mean, Ross also said in the verse, I told Meek I wouldn't trust Nikki. Yeah, but that's when she was like, yo, so you gonna wait two years to, but I'm trying to figure out why she that's just, not what, she's just now she, addressing it. Cause that but she, she gotta realize Ross also cleared it up because I saw his Breakfast Club interview. Yeah, he was like, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that I ain't trusted the whole time, but when that shit popped off between him and Drake, yeah, like y'all, this she is in between your, your best friend, yeah, best friend, and, and your, your man, yeah, like, yeah, so and they beefing, so like, what the fuck, yeah. like, because I know a nigga, me personally, like, nigga, you my girl, I don't fuck with this nigga, you don't fuck, you don't with, fuck with this nigga, like, that's it, like, ain't no fucking, yeah, and if you still fuck with this nigga, I like that shit iffy, you so. made your choice. So I understand it's Ross being nah, his man, like fuck is iffy. If you still fucking with this nigga, I oh, don't yeah. know you made you've made your choice. So now, I mean, in regular people life, it's a little different for them because they on a record label together and shit. Yeah, but and then again, people say that shit be lying. They be right back with their girl, like baby, I told you to stay away from this nigga. You just <laughs> not me, <I'm> just <laughs> people in general, niggas, niggas in general, not me. If I tell you to stay away from somebody. You gotta stay the fuck away. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just like, and then, of course, the whole Trina, Megan Thee Stallion, all that shit, it's just like, think, everything is spiraling yeah, 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 yeah. at one fucking time. Like, but, and the crazy shit is, yo, I don't think Nicki wrong in none of these situations. Like, Trina's nah. can't with Mac because she ain't push her album like that. I did a verse on the album. I don't have to promote your yeah, album like, like that. Like, I've never promoted any other one I, of your fucking albums. I did my job. I gave you the verse. The verse was, I don't know if the verse was fire, but... You know what I'm saying? I gave you I gave you the verse, you put the shit on the album, yeah. you push the album, that's what you're marketing people for, that's what you're marketing label for. If I happen to say something about it, cool, but it's cause they know what Nikki's Nikki's platform is. Yeah. Not it's, saying that Trina don't have one, cause yeah. you know what I'm saying? Trina's it's Trina. De- yeah, but it's yeah. definitely Nikki's definitely a lot better. Yeah, but Nikki got motherfucking overseas, she got white yeah. America, like Nikki has so. she has the platform that a lot of motherfuckers wish they had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I really think people paint her out to be a bad guy, or is she not? Nah, man. Or maybe I just like to play devil's advocate and I always, you know, I understand why motherfuckers do shit. I love you, Nikki. For facts. Kyle's a barb, though, so he's definitely going. This nigga just called me Maul. That's terrible. <laughs> Don't put me in that category. I'm <laughs> definitely not a barb. You're not a barb, man? If being a barber will allow me to fuck Nikki, then I'm a barber. Oh, nigga, I'll be president of the barber. Yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> That's the case. Sign me up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, nothing really, nothing else happened. Um, as far as she go, the, um, the Megan Thee Stallion shit, like, I don't know why they made that such a big deal as, like, she did a fucking song with a hot artist. Like, who doesn't do that? Yeah. Niggas don't care when Drake do it or when Hov do it or when B do it or when any fucking other artist yeah. on the planet do it. But when Nicki do it, she clout chases yeah. it. Like, that's... I think that was corny. Yeah. That people said that. It's yeah. just like, nigga, if, 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 if I get in the industry and, nigga, I want to do a song with Hov and he's willing to do it, I'm going to do this yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't... You know what I'm saying? It's just like... You probably don't know what how much that help. Megan's career. The song was trash, by the way. Y'all said that shit last week. I did listen to it. The song wasn't good. Yeah. Um, but regardless, you know what I'm saying? They still linked up. With the three names on it, I would I expected that shit to go a totally different. Yeah, yeah. Y'all were right. They definitely had Ty Dollar singing the hook like a bitch. <laughs> Real ass nigga give a fuck about these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw that Ty too. That shit was sad. Yeah, yeah. No, he's one of like my favorite. I don't know if I should call him an R&B because he's a singing ass nigga, but he's not really an R&B like artist, but he's an R&B artist. The, the way he was singing that hook, I feel like Nicki and Meg ran a train on him. 
I'm jealous of that. <laughs> no, not 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 in a good sense. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no sir. That'll be a hell of a threesome, though. Boy, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Nigga might not make it. I'm trying to die. I would die in that thing. Nigga might not make it. I'm taking me a, a, a gas station dick pill. <laughs> a Viagra popping a Rhino 9000 or something. I'm going to stand up in them things. Man, you going to need something. <laughs> and Megan, she... Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Salute to Nikki, man. I, I think they she get way more flack than she deserves. Facts. I mean, Facts. I understand that... You know, sometimes she does do shit and then play the victim or whatever the case. But at the same time, it's like... I, all I want Nikki to remember is you fucking Nikki Minaj. And she know that shit. But she need to start she, acting yeah. like that shit. Do you hear how many times she referred to herself in the third person? Yeah. Oh, Nikki Tanya Mirage? Yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying. But then she but she don't act like she knows she's fucking Nicki Minaj, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, she's still a person. Yeah, no. She's I still a Nicki Tanya Mirage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before she Nicki. So, she's still a little girl from Queens who was rapping on the come up DVDs. 